everyone uh, and welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your boy Mr. Ghana baby right here in the kingdom of Eswantini. I mean this country is the second smallest country in Africa and I never knew that this country has a lot to offer. We are here at the glass factory in Eswantini. You know what we always do? We always travel to discover, learn, educate ourselves and also educate you. But as the story goes, changing the narratives by telling our own story, we always have to find someone who knows more about a glass factory to educate me and you. Come with me and enjoy this amazing episode. Hi. Hi. My name is Tony Lebutia from Buenia Class. Welcome to Buenia Class. Nice to meet you. You are welcome and thank you for this one. Thank you so much. So this is my company. Okay. Buenia Class company. All right. Okay. Means Nguenya. Nguenya. That's the crocodile. Nguenya means crocodile. Yeah. Oh wow. So Nguenya is the crocodile. I mean crocodile is the Swatini. I mean Nguenya is the Swatini crocodile. So in um, Swatini, you guys say in your language Nguenya means crocodile. Yeah. So what is written over there is crocodile glass. Hmm. Crocodile glass. Welcome to. The crocodile glass so in this one, Tini. After that, after after that mountain, the mountain over there. Yes, that's, that's beautiful. Me. So you can see it from that side, from the from the mining. Yeah. So this is the trail up to here. Ah, yes. but even the mountain looks like yes. a crocodile. A crocodile, yes. That is why it is beautiful. Nguenya glass. glass. Thank you so much. So, yeah. We have to go in and educate us. So this is Nguenya class. Nguenya class was established in 1979 by the Swedish people. Oh, okay. So they came with the idea of recycling all bottles. So our Did all they came with the idea of what? Recycling all bottles. Old bottles. Old bottles. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Wow. So all our products here, as you can see them, they are oh. recycled products. Recycled products? Yes, we're using all bottles, the Coca-Cola bottles, the gem juice. The mayonnaise bottles and the tomato bottles, tomato sauce bottles, all the clear bottles that you can think of. We're using all those bottles for, for producing our product. We break them into small petal shapes, we put them into the furnace, they are melted at a temperature of 1300 degrees Celsius a day. So uh, we use uh, old oil to furnace, uh, for the furnace, we use old oil. We use paraffin, we use handy gas, and we use electricity. And we also have the solar panels. We're trying to cut the cost of electricity because it consumes a lot of electricity. Because it's on uh, throughout the day, we don't switch it off. All right. Yes. So, um, who is the owner now? Because you said it was established by the uh, Swedish, Swedish people. people. And so, who is the owner right now? Is, still, is it the same people? No. Okay. So, it was established by the Swedish people okay. for two years. They trained the Swazi people with the idea. They trained them. From there, uh, our government ran it through. But unfortunately, it has to cease down okay. production because they couldn't afford to continue. Okay. So they closed it down. But it was reopened by the Pretty John family in 1987. Pretty John, Pretty John family. Swazi. Yeah, Swazi. Swazi. Oh, okay. No. Actually, from, they are from South Africa, okay. basically, okay. from the Eastern Cape. They okay. came here, it was Nkulu, Gok, and their other son, Chess, pretty job. Okay. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, Nkulu passed away, so okay. now it's Chess who's running the, now, oh, the okay. company. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. Can we see how the, the process of the manufacturing? Yes, we'll go inside and see how it's done. Okay. Then I'll explain everything to you. Right. Thank you. So we go this way. material that we use. Okay. That is what I was talking about. We take this, we put it into the furnace where it is melted. Alright. Okay, so, so like these are broken bottles that you get from the city? Yes. Or from anywhere? You buy the broken bottles? Yes. So, oh, okay. You bring it here? Mm-hmm. And then over there, right? Yes. Oh, okay. So in there, uh -huh. it's the furnace. It's the melted broccoli that we call it a molten glass. Okay. So the temperature is very, very high. Right. 1,300 degrees Celsius. Okay. 
Wow. So they melt everything over there. Yeah. Exactly. Then they extract yeah. the molten bottle. They blow it into a mold. It depends on what product they want to make at the moment. Oh, okay. At that time. Our production, we write it over the board over there. This is what we call juice. Everything. We write it over the board. Wow. Then we start making, we start working from 10 to 7 in the morning. We end at 4.30 in the afternoon. 4.30 in the afternoon. Yes. So we have a 30 minutes break, a 30 minutes lunch, and we have 10 minutes in the day. So basically the people who work here are all Swazis? Yes, all of them are Swazis. All of them are Swazis? Yes, the training is done here while we work. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Can we see some of them making the food? Okay. Okay, we can start here. Boy is making a, a wine glass. Wine, a wine glass. Yes. So we call it Mihal. It's a grammar. Red glass is called a red wine. It's a red wine glass. So you think she extract the molten glass from there. He shape it. Then he takes it. And he go, he throw it into the mold. The mold, yeah? That's the mold. So all our products are free flow. So it's in the cafe? Yes, everything is handmade. Cafe? Oh. So in here, he's making a stopper disc for a wine stopper. This one, we put it on the cup, not the stopper. We call it a wine disc. From the fire, from the ovens, we take it out, we put them into the different crates like this. So when they come in the morning from 10 to 7, they start grinding it and polishing it. Oh, polishing it? Yes. So they polish? Yes, because when it comes out from the oven, it comes out wobbling, it doesn't stand properly. Oh, okay, because it's handmade? Yes. Oh, okay. They, they have to do it the same day or maybe the day? Same day. Same this, after this finish, they're gonna um, It goes into there, they'll do it tomorrow. Oh, okay. So what we're doing is what we did yesterday. Yesterday, okay. Yes. So they polish something that has been done yesterday. yesterday. Yes. They do it today. Mm -hmm. Wow, can we just see the polish process? Yes. Thank you. This one is Andrea's Cosa. It's grinding an, an extra large elephant. Okay. So this one is a candle holder. It's an elephant kangly holder. Elephant what? Kangly holder. Oh, okay. Oh, that was beautiful. This one, it's now finished. It's now polished because when I checked for the first time, it was not that smooth. But now, after a few minutes, few seconds, I'm not even going to say a few seconds. Oh, sorry. I'm not even going to have to say a few minutes, but after a few seconds, it's already polished. Yes. Wow. So on this side, on this part, We do the polishing of the glasses on the set. The sandpaper? Yes, that's the sandpaper. We to use it for polishing the glasses. You see, they're still rough. Yeah. They're still not yet done. Yeah. Uh, so they're still, we still have to wait for them to polish it. He's the one who does the, the polishing. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Nice. So is this already polished? I think so. Is it done already? Right. Can I touch it? But it's still yet not finished. It's still not finished, but yes. it's loose. Yes. Almost finished. Yeah. Almost done. So when it is done, yeah. they take the crate, they put it in here. Okay. The crate. Then she washes it. From the washing. We take it to the quality controller on the next side. Okay. After the classes, when it is what, we take it there. Now it's finished. We have to melt it with the fire. So that's, now it is, a, it is a finished product. The finished product. Yes. He's before a, you see... He's the, he's the main guy to finish everything. Yes. So you see, before, it's just grinded only. Still not yet melted. Oh, Still not okay. yet finished. So now you can take it and use it because now it's finished, it's smooth. You cannot cut it with your lips. You can drink with it. Oh! Amazing. It looks beautiful. I like the shape. Yes. So, um, I want to know this company exports glasses worldwide. Worldwide? Yes. To every country in the world. Yes. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. so which means people in this country are so lucky to have 
have your own glass factory. That's beautiful. You are so proud of you wearing your glass. So this is our finished product, oh, wow. our shop, this where we sell our, the finished product from the factory, we take them through here. So this is our animals, the big five animals. Mm. These are our glasses, the drinking wine, the, the drinking glasses. We have a variety of drinking glasses. This one, you put your wine in here, you put your ice in here. It doesn't dilute your wine, you oh, just pour like good. this. Mm -hmm. And this is our famous class as well. Our whiskey tumbler. You can use it for juice, fruit juice. You can use it for whiskey. You can use it for beer. This is our new invention. So you put your ice in here. It doesn't dilute. It just keeps your drink cool. Wow. Mm. So, so this one, if you want to buy a present, I would suggest so, that. So, mm -hmm. okay. I'll definitely buy it and um, give it to the people us out there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I want to say thank you so much for taking us around. Okay, we really okay. appreciate your time. I also appreciate your, your visit coming to Switzerland, coming to visit our company. I wish you your, your stay in Switzerland to be very well. You are most welcome. The Swazi people are most friendly people. Mm -hmm. So I wish you stay for long. Thank you so much. It was nice meeting it's you. You said your name? Maya. Maya and mine is Tunile. It was yeah. nice meeting you. Thank meeting you, so you Maya. Thank you so much. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this amazing episode. Don't forget to like, share, and let the world know that glasses have been made here in S1 Pini. I am Maya. Peace out.